Hey ladies and gentlemen, hope everyone's doing well. I kind of wanted to just do an updated video on my EDC. I was carrying around the Maxpedition Lunata sling bag and after watching many videos on YouTube I actually had bought this bag and I've probably been carrying this maybe, I'm not even sure, maybe a year or so. Um, and I just kept watching more and more videos and realized that I wanted something even bigger that can accommodate more items such as maybe a jacket, my lunchbox, and my cup when I go to work, things like that. So after doing a lot of research on backpacks, I came across the Maxpedition Falcon 2, which I just got in the mail about two days ago. I bought this from OfferUp, and it's still brand new with the tags. I think this is an older model backpack, but it's really, really cool. And there was one YouTuber who actually did a review on this bag after having it for 10 years. So he used it for 10 years, pretty much every day, he said, and it still looked brand new. So that alone to me was impressive. And with the Lunata, this is a great bag. I mean, it is awesome. But you know, when you have it on one one shoulder, it's kind of, it gets kind of heavy. And not only that, but you're limited on space. So when I go to work, I'm carrying this on one shoulder. I also have my lunchbox and my cup in a shoulder sling bag on the same shoulder. So what I decided to do was upgrade. And I'm still gonna keep this Lunata bag so I can switch back and forth. And in here I have a Maxpedition pouch, which is still the same thing that I've been carrying. Um, it's got uh, a bunch of goodies in here. It's got the Zebra pen, the Zebra mechanical pencil, a screwdriver, a permanent marker, Sharpie, tape measure, highlighter, tied to go pen, which works awesome, a USB drive, and an extendable eraser. I've got a an all-weather notebook here in the back. I got some earplugs in the back pocket, and I carry some tweezers on the little key keeper, and I have some band-aids, a little boo-boo kit behind this. You all know what the Maxpedition pouch looks like if you're into EDC. <clears throat> so this will be now going into my backpack. Um, and I also have a bunch of different little pouches that I'm kind of going to decide on whether I want to put in the backpack. So I have a Lacoste pouch with a zipper. I have this little, it might be a, like a little camera bag of some kind. I have a Swiss Army uh, pouch. I have another little Swiss Army pouch, which I may use this or this for maybe like a first aid kit, even though I have one in a little case, I may just put a softer case uh, in use instead. I have another little pouch here and another little pouch. I like pouches. This one I actually used to carry uh, in my pocket occasionally. This had like a little flashlight and a little multi-tool in it. So now that we got that out of the way, um, I also have, um, deodorant because let's face it, when you're at work all day or you're out somewhere, you may need to freshen up. So I'd also like to add a, an Axe body spray to go along with this. And I've got some lotion in here. I've got, this is a really awesome thing. This is a lint brush. And when you use it, you just stick it back in and it rubs the lint off onto the inside. And then you can take this piece off here and dump out the lint. And I wear black shirts a lot. I don't like to have uh, hair or lint on my shirts. So this comes in very handy all the time. So that's a regularly used item. And I have this little first aid kit, which is kind of just a little basic boo-boo kit. 
which I might take this stuff out of here and put it into one of these pouches. And I've also got another little first aid kit that I make just combined with this. So I'm gonna decide on that. <clears throat> I've got something that a lot of people show in their EDC videos. I've never had one of these before, but I thought it would be a great idea. This is a Lux Pro headlamp. I just got this recently. Um, it, it's pretty bright and it's pretty cool. It's also got the green light and the red light on it. Uh, I haven't really used it, but I tried it out and I really like it. And I think it will be really neat to have if you need your hands free to do something. I carry gum because I like chewing gum and it's always good to have fresh breath. This is a really cool thing here. Uh, I did a lot of research on EDC utensils and it comes in this pouch. And what this is basically is a, it's a full utensil. It's a knife, a fork, and a spoon. And you can pop the fork off of the spoon. And of course, right now I'm having trouble doing that. Here we go. So this is a fork and it's got a multi-tool on it. It's got like a little wrench and a bottle opener, but I don't use any of that stuff. And then I've got, and then on the spoon here, it's got a knife that actually folds out this way and it becomes a full knife. So you've got a knife, a fork, and a spoon. And I've actually got two of these. I have one in my lunchbox that I keep in there for work. And then I've got this one in my bag. So if I'm out somewhere, where I buy some food and I need silverware, because let's say you go to a restaurant and they don't give you any for takeout, I've got this handy little tool with me. I have an eraser. <clears throat> and then I have um, little zip ties. Now I never really would have thought to carry around zip ties, but after watching a lot of other EDC videos, they say these are pretty handy pretty often, and I actually did use some of these at work um, to fix some things. So they saved the day. I have a little um, notebook. This is just a, from the library. It was like a freebie. I can draw if I want to. It's blank papers. And I have a glow stick in here just because this was given to me as an idea from also other EDC videos. Probably never would have thought to carry that either. That's it for in there. Now in this little zippered pocket inside the bag, this one, I have a bunch of cough drops. Um, because when you suffer from sleep apnea, like I do, a lot of times your throat will be dry or raw. And it's always good to have those with you. I have some gift cards. I have some Pepto-Bismol tablets, which I'll probably be putting into the first aid kit. Um, I have, this is the last piece I have left. This is some uh, gum for when you have acid reflex. This kind of uh, counteracts the acid. And let's see. So when we go to the bigger, the outside pocket here, I have a little patch on here, which I'm probably going to end up putting on the backpack. This is a Knight Rider patch, and I'm obsessed with the old original Knight Rider series. I've got a 1000 lumen Kodiak flashlight. This was a cheap flashlight from Big Five with a coupon. It was like $12, and I love flashlights, and I thought, why not? It's really bright. I've got two breath strips because again you want fresh breath when you talk to people and I work with the public so I don't like my breath to smell even though now we're wearing masks. I've got a little folding phone stand that I've actually used when I've gone out to a restaurant by myself and I wanted to watch videos while I was eating so that's pretty handy. And then I have some alcohol wipes and I have a little cloth to clean glasses. This one was from Costco. 
I don't wear glasses, but I do have sunglasses, so that would come in handy. I have my vaccine card, which I'm not going to show. And then we go to the... They call this a um, admin pocket. So I have a lot of stuff in here. So I have a extendable antenna with a magnet on the end and I've actually used this before. So if you drop something down into a little groove, you have that, you can get it out. I carry a magnifying glass because as you get older, you realize sometimes print is smaller than you actually can read. Uh, CarMax, this is probably my favorite lip balm. When your lips are dry, I don't use this very often, but when my lips are dry, this is amazing. It soothes your lips really quickly. I carry the wall chuck for your charger, and that goes in conjunction with the charging cables. So I can charge my phone. If I'm at somebody's house or I go to my mom's house and my phone needs charged. And then I have a phone charging portable bank with that has this with it. I have, yes, I love Mickey Mouse. Um, don't judge me on that. I'm 40, but I still love Mickey Mouse. So I have a Mickey Mouse Lego keychain because I like Legos too. And he fits on here. Excuse me, the proper term is Lego, not Legos. So I have a little Mickey Mouse towel that when you wet it, it gets big. So I thought that might come in handy. I saw that in another video. I have another flashlight. This is a cheap Husky flashlight from Home Depot. I used to carry this one in my pocket. This came in a set of flashlights that I got. And I really like this light but I upgraded to a Streamlight ProTac uh, CR123 or one AA or one AAA battery flashlight. That goes on my belt in a pouch that also has a Leatherman Wave Plus and my bit kit and an extra battery in the bit extender, but that's in my room right now, so I didn't have it here to show you. Um, this is an extendable stainless steel straw. And I've used this, I went to Tommy Burger and I got one of those delicious chocolate milkshakes or malts. And this straw just extends out and it's got a little cleaning brush inside. And I like drinking from this because it also um, keeps the drink colder as it comes through the straw since it's stainless steel. And I had heard that at the restaurants they were only going to start giving you the paper straws and I don't like the paper straws so I've got this just in case. I have a, um, this is for the cigarette lighter in your car to charge your phone. So that's another way to, for me to charge my phone. If I'm in my car or someone else's car and my phone needs charged. Now this is a little something that I've seen other people carry. I just like to carry this because it's fun. This is a spinner from my friend's company, Seven Doors. They used to make these, but they stopped making them when these were real popular. They were making a killing on these spinners. Um, this is just a cheap whistle that I have, just in case you never know when you're going to need one. And I also have something that some of you guys might laugh at me for, but uh, this is a mirror, and I took off the logo that was on it, but... It's a mirror so that you can, you know, if you have something in your teeth or let's say you're with a woman and she'd like to check herself in the mirror, I have a mirror there. Then in the front pocket of the bag, I have my earphones. I carry these because I don't use like to use the wireless ones. I have the ever famous Kleenex. And then I have in here, I have a dude wipe. I've never used these before, but my coworker gave me one, so I just threw it in here. I have some of the flossing picks, and then I think I might put some duct tape on this card. So I got all that stuff in there, and then I have just this little thing for change. That covers it for that pocket. Now, in the back pocket, oh, and I have a Night Eyes s beaner that holds 25 pounds, and I keep, keep it on the outside of the bag with hand sanitizer. 
And then in the back portion of the bag, which is for concealed carry, um, I don't own a gun. And here in California, in Los Angeles, we're not really allowed to carry guns. So I just have hand cleaning wipes for sanitizing your hands. I like these, let's say I eat some Cheetos, which I've done before, and you're in your car or you're out and you don't have access to water or to wash your hands. These will clean your hands really well. And then the last thing I have in here is I have a whole kit with more alcohol sanitizing wipes. This is some hand washing soap because sometimes you go to a public restroom, they don't have any soap. I have to replace the paper towels I had in here. I have an extra mask just in case and then I have some of these purple gloves and I have some regular clear gloves. So that's all I have in this bag. Uh, like I said, I wanted to add some more stuff to my backpack. So all of that stuff now, or most of it will be transferred down to the Maxpedition Falcon 2 backpack. Um, this is a very durable backpack. You can see reviews of it online and that's why I decided to go with this because I did see a lot of VanQuest backpacks that looked really cool that I liked. But they had laptop pockets and tablet pockets. I don't own a laptop and I don't own a tablet. So I didn't need that. That's why I went with this too. So um, I'm looking forward to using this. Tonight's going to be the first night I'm going to try this backpack out. And hopefully I will uh, use this backpack for a while and update everybody on how that backpack works. And how easy it is to get into to access your items. And I hope everybody stays well and healthy. And I thank everybody for watching. And as oh, and as far as Maxpedition goes, I have about four or five of their products. They are absolutely amazing. But I heard you can't go wrong with VanQuest. And um, I've never tried VanQuest gear, but Maxpedition is amazing. So everyone stay well and healthy. And thanks for watching.